in the quaint seaside village of El Guayabo. A storm is brewing, bringing gale force winds of change and passion that will impact many lives. Soledad is a beautiful young woman who lives a quiet, happy life in the picturesque town of El Guayabo. Alejandro is an ambitious developer from the capital, determined to build a beach resort in the exact spot where the town lies, no matter how many families are unrooted in the process. En eso andamos, civilizando la barbarie. A ver si entramos de una buena vez al siglo XXI. When he arrives to close the purchase of the village's principal business, a cigar factory, and all of the land that surrounds it, fate brings him together with Soledad in an unexpected manner. After being robbed on the road and hit on the head, he is wandering aimlessly when she accidentally runs him over with her bicycle. Discovering that he can't remember anything, not even his name. Soon, everyone finds out that this confused stranger is the new owner of most of El Guayabo, but he himself can't figure out why. The townspeople, simple, colorful folks who deeply love their placid way of life, see him as an enemy and desperately try to find a way to avoid the construction of the resort. In this search, a long-kept secret is revealed. Soledad's real mother, Catalina, never died as everyone thought. In fact, she spent the last 20 years in prison for killing her abusive husband, the son of the town's patriarch, Don Luis Santana, owner of the tobacco factory. As a legitimate heir to the factory and adjacent land, only she can undo the sale of the property. So now, Don Luis, regretful of having signed the transaction, offers her a deal. If she returns to save the town, he will give her back her daughter. Neither Catalina nor Soledad know about each other's presence. Catalina thinks Soledad was adopted in another country, while Soledad is convinced she is the real daughter of the couple who raised her. ¿Qué pasa si esa mujer aparece? Yo no quiero que me quiten a mi hija, Miguel. Si me la quitan, yo me muero. Yo no sé cómo vivir sin Soledad. Catalina's return to El Guayabo will reunite mother and daughter, but it will also eventually tear them apart. As Catalina unknowingly falls in love with the same man Soledad sees as her soulmate, Alejandro. And so, while Soledad and Alejandro discover they were meant for each other, destiny still has many surprises in store for both and for the quaint and lovable town that brought them together.